Hi, this is Matt with uh, Red Wing Steelworks. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk about today that causes the most amount of questions that I get by email has to do with ordering the correct axle for your utility trailer. Um, obviously, these are the plans. Um, they're free on my website, uh, utilitytrailerplans.net. But I, I just want to, I'll start off by saying, uh, these are the notes I'm skimming through here. Um, uh, I, went, I went too far. Right here. Um, the hub bolt pattern that I used for the trailer is uh, five bolt or five lug, sometimes people call it, by four and a half inch. Um, that is pretty standard. Uh, there's not a whole lot of question about that. Um, but I just want to show where the confusion comes in, and, and I don't blame you because it it sucks to order an axle. Um, I we talk about in the plans that if you're going to build a five by eight utility trailer, you're going to use a spring center uh, from here to here of 58 inches because the outside dimension of your frame from from basically here to here is going to be 60 inches, five foot. So when you go to order your axle, you're thinking to yourself, okay, I need 58 inch spring centers. But it's not always that easy. Some axle companies will go by hub face dimensions. And that's where the confusion comes in. And there's no standard, I mean, there's standard axles, but as far as a standard um, where you just call somebody and say, I need 58 inch spring centers. Uh, s some companies don't go by that. They don't know what you're talking about, uh, especially when you're getting uh, somebody that's their job is just to take orders over the phone. They don't really know. You're not talking to the designer, to the fabricator. You're talking to somebody that is just going to order it for you. Um, some places are better than others. But, like, for instance, here we're at PacificTrailers.com. I have no affiliation with any of these people that I'm about to show you. I don't sell axles. I, I'm not an affiliate for any of them. I just went and found some information on the, on the Internet. Okay, so that tells you what they want. Hub face to hub face, pretty simple. Spring center, spring center, pretty simple. Okay, so... Uh, now you want to go and you want to buy a tra trailer axle from these guys. Well, let's look. Axles, 3,500 pound trailer axles should be cut and dry, right? Well, then you come down here to buy something, and what is this? Two by two raw steel tube, galvanized tube. Okay, that's pretty self-explanatory. But do I need two by three? Uh, forget. Look at this. It's ridiculous. Let's go to somewhere else. All right, here I'm at Sturdy Built Online. Once again, not affiliated with them at all. Um, here we go. Hey, I found a trailer axle, 3,500 pound, that has 58 inch spring seat. That, that's, that's the same, spring center to center, 58 inch. Um, that's a 73 inch hub face. Okay, that's pretty cut and dry. Um, these guys tell you how to measure these axles too. If the hubs are removed, you can measure the overall length. Um, well, we we need to buy one from the start. We're not trying to retrofit anything. Um, measure hub face to face. What does that matter to us uh, as building a trailer? The only thing that matters really is the spring seat measurement. I mean, your hubs are not going to rub on the frame. This is this is a standard trailer. Um, but they don't make it easy. Okay, where's my springs? I don't know. Now you got to go and buy a U-bolt kit and spring kit and so forth. Now I'm not trying to bash these guys. I just think that there's a market out there for a website that could be a little bit more clear. Um, let's go over here. These guys aren't any better. Overall length. I don't know. Does that matter to you? It doesn't matter to me. Um, outside flange to flange I don't know okay so let's say I want to buy this 2 and 3 a brown painted axle 3500 pound capacity 
I, I don't know anything about the spindles. I don't care. Um, here they're offering a spring center range of 54 to 60 inch. Well, okay, great. So I got to put in my options, weld the spring seats, um, axle over the spring, or axle under the spring. Um, I, I don't know. It's confusing. Ooh. And then you got an option here, do not weld. I will weld the spring seats myself. I don't want to do that. And then you also got to go and, and buy a, a U-bolt kit and a spring kit. And so... Anyway, let's go to the last one. This is Freedom Axle. I have used these guys as a reference. I've never bought from them. I am not affili affiliated with them in any way. Like I said, I, I don't know anyone there. Um, but I like their website and I like how they explain things. And it's fairly simple. So you, you come to FreedomAxle.com. You go over here to Trailer Axles. And... I'm looking for a 3,500 pound assembly or brake. I don't need a brake, so I just want the or the idler. So we'll go in here, and okay, look at this standard axle sizes. Look at this. They're telling you the hub face and the spring centers. Now I know there's not a lot of options, but they happen to do the exact axles that I would need for a five by eight and a six by ten. A six by ten would be 72 inch outside frame so I would need a 70 inch spring center there's the two that I need according to the plans um, okay well I'll take that one um, hub face in inches well I already did that it's 73 uh, custom this is just for custom if you needed something custom you could put this in Special instructions, add a half, add a half. No, I don't need that. So what do I want? I want a straight axle. Um, bolt pattern. Here we come. Five lug on 4.5 inch circle. That's, that's what I use for the plans. That's one of the most common ones out there. Uh, lube type. Uh, you can do an easy. I, I just grease the wheel bearings myself. Um, I don't need brakes. And yes, I would like a spring kit, eye to eye. So I'm adding that to my cart. And let's view my cart. Oh, here it is right here. Um, this is what I want. And that's a pretty good price. I mean, like I, I really am not affiliated with these guys. I, I, I don't know. I've never ordered from them. Um, I'll go back to, here. here's the trailer that I built. Um, you can see we have an over the spring axle set up. Um, I got this, I ended up getting this from a local trailer shop. And, oops, they send, I, I just, it, obviously it was a reliable axle. I, I don't know if you can buy those online. Um, I, I went there and ordered it from them. It's one of the biggest pains about ordering an axle. Um, I suggest it, it's about as clear as mud on how to what we need. But I, I would say for now, um, go to Freedom Axle. Freedom Axle. Just, just Google is your friend. That's all I can say. Um, it's, it's just one of those things. They don't make it easy. I wish there was a standard, but until, until there is, we're just going to have to try and search for this information. And I just wanted to try and help you out. Um, so thank you.